Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, we're gonna be going over iOS 14 beta 5 for you guys and talk about everything that's new and if you guys should update. So here's a quick look at the update itself. It was 1.82 gigabytes on my iPhone, which is pretty big for a beta, which means that they probably resent out a lot of the packages to update everything because there were a lot of bugs in the last version, namely the autocorrect bug and the messages bug. And I'm happy to say that those have been completely resolved so far in this beta from my testing. So in this video, we're gonna first go over all of the new features, then I'm gonna go over the bugs, if there are still any and the ones that have been fixed. Then I'm gonna go over battery and performance, and then I'm gonna wrap up and let you guys know if you guys should update to this version. Now the public beta is not out yet, but it should be out either tomorrow or in like seven minutes, but we'll see, probably tomorrow. So one of the biggest things that they changed in this beta is with the widgets. So now the widgets actually have to ask for a location access, if you want to use one that actually uses that, like the maps or uh, weather or something, and it will say that, hey, this will actually use your location 15 minutes after uh, you stop using the widget. So keep that in mind if you are worried about that. The Apple News widget now has an option for a taller widget, so you can see more stuff uh, when you place that on your home screen. Now here's something I'm sure a lot of you are going to like, and that is that the scroll wheel is back for uh, the time. And this is actually implemented in quite a different way than before. Uh, as you guys can see, you can scroll through the time uh, right here. Now it's a little glitchy because if you grab the wrong spot, um, it's going to unfortunately pull the whole window down, but you can scroll through these and it gives you the haptic touch feeling and everything uh, just like before. Uh, so that is back. I know a lot of people were complaining that you couldn't scroll and that you had to type it, but that is back in the alarm section. Another thing that's changed is in the settings here, exposure notifications, you can turn those on if you want them. And then availability alerts, receive a notification if exposure notifications are available in your current region. So if you wanna turn that on, you can do that now. This has been changed. Now in photos here, there is a new setting right here for hidden album. And when enabled, the hidden album will appear in the albums tab under utilities. The hidden album is always available under the image picker. So that is uh, the new text there. And as you can see, there's actually a typo. They've got a random uh, quotation mark in there, but uh, I'm sure that'll be changing here pretty soon, especially they might clear that up uh, to explain what that means more. But if you wanna turn that on, you can now do so. So in Control Center, if you turn on home controls and you take a look at them here, uh, they are actually smaller than they used to be. And there's kind of a grid icon style and you can favorite certain ones. And this makes it a lot better now that they're smaller. They were way too big, uh, but I have quick access to them now if I keep those on. But I don't, so I'm going to be turning those off. But for those of you that use it, uh, those controls are now smaller, so they take up a lot less space, which is fantastic. And then back to the widgets here, uh, the weather widget is now fixed and updates at a better interval, so it's not gonna be completely different from the actual application. Uh, and they also now blocked widgets, screen time when a parent app is now blocked, so that has been fixed. So those are the new features in here, but there have been a ton of bug fixes and behind the scenes things. Uh, the first thing I noticed was the smoothness, very smooth. This is, you can tell that they're getting ready for a public release. Um, it just feels more polished. There's a lot less hiccups with pretty much anything that I do, which is great. Overall, everything feels very good. They've fixed the iMessage bug. If I open that, I have not had any stuttering, any crashes so far. And the autocorrect bug is finally fixed. One thing I did notice, I noticed other people mentioned this as well. The folder around your apps actually looks a little bit longer now. Uh, so the length of it this way, seems to have gotten a little bit bigger, which is kind of odd. It makes me think maybe they're gonna allow us to have more rows of apps. Not sure, but that is something that I did notice. Other than that, everything else seems pretty much the same. So do I recommend this update? Absolutely, go get this. If you're on beta four, uh, get the public beta as soon as it comes out. And if you are a developer, go get this now because it fixes so many of the awful bugs in beta four. So go check it out. If you liked the video, hit it with a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.